Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlogs. Cassette Carnage. And today we are blasting Artificial Brain's new record, Infrared Horizon on Profound Lore Records. This is some killer, brutal New York death metal with a sci-fi edge. And there's multiple reasons I felt like listening to this this morning. One being the fact that it fucking rules and two being the fact of how goddamn disappointed I fucking was with the new Suffocation album. Like, Jesus Christ. Just overproduced. I could barely hear Frank's vocals at points. It just was boring. And I hate to say that, but it was. And the production just fell flat. It reminded me of the self-titled, and that's not good. And even, like, Blood Oath, which is where I, I just stopped caring about new suffocation. But hey, that's just me. You guys might like it and give it a chance. It is worth your time to listen to. I just, uh, it, that gets a thumbs down from me. And I'm not just being like, oh, well, you know, it's no human waste, dude. No, nah, it, it's really mediocre at best. Unlike San Francisco's cartilage dialect of the dead where you have some killer killer even brother and sister gory death metal yeah you have mark wallace on vocals teresa wallace on guitar and adam homan on drums and you have a nice gore soaked photo here if you're a fan of bands like hemorrhage vhs Carcass, Impaled, Exhumed, Blood Freak, and hell, like even like early Ghoul, you are going to love, 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 love Dialect of the Dead. This is such a good album, especially if you've heard their demo material. This is such a giant, giant fucking step up. It's just some grindy, fucking killer, gore soaked fucking death metal and it's awesome comes on this plain black tape but I, I really really dig the artwork here uh, it's fucking sick really like I, I just love it. it it's great I'm sure that would look wonderful as well like on a 12 inch and this artwork is by Dave Romano and it's fucking sick like I'm so impressed by this and this was also recorded by the mighty Greg Wilkinson at Earhammer Studios, who have been putting out nothing but gold this year. And this is no fucking exception. If you've heard the new Necrot, then you know how awesome the production is at that studio, especially with Greg behind the album. This is just awesome stuff right here. Like seriously, just killer grindy, crusty, sick, fucking groovy death metal. And when I say groovy, I don't mean like groovy. I mean like, you know, it has that, that death metal like kind of groove to it that some bands, you know, make their whole entire careers based off of, but they totally capture like the early vibes of Carcass with the dual vocals perfectly like i love the way the vocal delivery on this is it's just fucking top notch this band is going to be going places seriously like it's so fun to just bang your fucking head in like this is some face ripping death metal especially if you're a fan of like i said you know like gore like more like gory death metal than like you know your sci-fi death metal and whatnot like this really really comes more from the school of like carcass and whatnot impaled exhumed etc i mean they're from that area so it all makes fucking sense like for you to be influenced by you know your peers and also the legendary scene that you know you're from and it's another one of those bands that I'm just so fucking impressed by and luckily I did um 
I have heard about this band before through Trevor from the Black Dahlia Murder. He had a little article up about how goddamn good this was along with a bunch of other tapes and stuff. And uh, this full length though, it's just something fucking really, really special featuring members of Necromantic Decay. And this is just wow, like seriously, wow very very impressed by this and just how fucking like just brutal the fucking lyrics are and how brutal the vocal delivery is but you have intro half the man i used to be gurgitator and my personal favorite track entangled in innards can't stop the clock Chopped and churned, S is for surgery, El Nacabra, which is probably one of the, the more light-hearted uh, lyrical tracks on here. It's about some like rat demon, it's awesome. And then you have Backseat Victim and track 10, the title track, Dialect of the Dead. And this seriously, killer fucking gore-soaked death metal from the bay. And it's awesome. I mean, I, I fucking love this type of death metal. I mean, it's great. Because it has, like, everything you could possibly want. It has carcass worship. And at the same time, it also has this crusty, like, sick groove that makes you just want to fucking bang your head. Like, I would love to see this band, like, tour with somebody, like, even, like, Municipal Waste. Because... I'm sure their fans would eat this up. And I'm sure, hell, most death metal fans will eat this up. And, uh, yeah. These guys have a lot of fans in high places, including uh, Trevor from the Black Dahlia Murder, who, like I said, had an article where he kind of went over some tapes and said that this was one of his favorites of the year. And I'm going to have to agree with him. Out of uh, a lot of the tapes that I've gotten so far, this is really, really fucking good. Like, I mean, everything else has been good, but this is just kind of like a little bit above the rest so far. I mean, I still have a couple more tapes to go through, but I'm just really impressed when it comes to the death metal releases from Transylvanian tapes. This is some serious grade A death metal when it comes to just gory fucking awesomeness and i can't recommend this enough like i said for fran for fans of hemorrhage exhumed blood freak it's just fucking rules and especially early carcass and um impaled and you have cartilage dialect of the dead on transylvanian tapes and get this before it's fucking gone seriously because you if you're a fan of death metal and especially like i said if you're more of a fan of you know like groovy gore soaked death metal with an old school edge you're gonna love this and also the production like i said phenomenal greg wilkinson at Earhammer studios just wow and Having a brother and sister in a death metal band is cool as shit. I wish my sister listened to death metal. That'd be awesome. But, yeah, this is fucking awesome shit. I keep saying that and can't really say too much more about it besides that, you know, you really need to check this out. The links are going to be below. And black tape just awesome sounding as well again thank you aunt sue <laughs> and uh the program repeats on both sides even though you have 10 tracks you still have yourselves a killer fucking album here with dialect of the dead just like i said 10 tracks of just gory grinding death goodness awesome stuff right here on Transylvanian tapes just like everything else just I really 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 recommend this for fans of early carcass blood freak you guys are gonna love this album 
So I will put the link below and hopefully you guys enjoy this as much as I did. Dialect of the Dead by Cartledge. Cartledge, yeah. I just thought I said that wrong. I was like, fuck you. But seriously, awesome stuff here. Dialect of the Dead on Transylvanian Tapes. Link will be below. And uh, we were listening to Artificial Brains, Infrared Horizon. Look how sad that robot is. Poor guy. But anyways, again, killer fucking sci-fi driven death metal here from New York. And here you have some killer gore-soaked death metal from the Bay Area. Awesome stuff here by Cart Cartledge, Dialect of the Dead on Transylvanian Tapes. Get into this before it's gone. So yeah, I'm gonna give this a 9.5 out of 10. This is just awesome stuff right here. And I really think you guys are gonna dig it. Even the way that like, really quick, I just wanna show you the art one more time because I'm so impressed with this artwork. Just the way that like, the smoke or whatever is coming out of this like zombified monster's mouth just, it goes on the other side of the J card and then ends up over here. It's just awesome. I, I don't know, I really like that. It just looks sick. Good artwork is very, very important. I'm sorry, it always is. I mean, sometimes it's sick when you get a black metal record and it's just the band's logo and plain black and white font. And you know what you're getting into most of the time when you get something like that. It's just gonna be grim as fuck. But with this, you're getting some killer top notch gory death metal and yeah i recommend this especially if you're a fan of early carcass exhumed impaled yeah i'm just repeating myself at this point but you're gonna love this album so get into it dialect of the dead on transylvanian tapes by cartilage killer shit and uh you can check out their um demo as well and hear the gigantic progression when it comes to dialect of the dead because they really stepped the game up for this and it shows so yep thanks for watching again and as usual you guys are the fucking best have a good week Cartlidge fucking rolls.